Guys, listen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, y'all. So I was sitting here getting my food, okay? And I, for a small second, like, I kind of started getting down. I was like, oh, you know. And then the Holy Spirit showed me. The first thing I heard was, if they wanted to, they would. He kept saying, if they wanted to, they would. Okay? This word is for somebody. Listen. If somebody wanted to talk to you, they would. If they wanted to value you, they would. If they wanted to treat you right, they would. Whatever it is that you are, that you're asking for out of somebody, you don't need to tell them. They, they, listen, they know. They're capable. Everybody, everybody is capable of being something to somebody. Okay? If somebody's not being something to you, let that go. Let that go. Leave it alone. Because let me tell you something. If they wanted to, they would. If your supervisor wanted to promote you, he would. If your wife wanted to love you, she would. If your husband wanted to be there for you, he would. If your children wanted to uh, uh, appreciate you, they would. Okay? God says, if they wanted to, they would. We have to stop taking rejection and taking uh, uh, depreciation and taking all these different signs and all these red flags that we see in relationships and places and people and things. We have to stop taking that and twisting it and making it like, um, like, 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 oh, you know, make an excuse for it. Okay. Listen, if somebody wanted to do something, they would, if they're not doing it, it's because they don't want to do it. Not because they're not capable because they don't want to. Okay. And you deserve more than that. You deserve more than that, okay? That's the first part of this message, okay? So stop, just stop, just completely stop. I don't care what you gotta do, stop. God says stop. I don't care what you gotta do, stop. If these people wanted to, they would. If they're not doing it because they don't want to. You understand me? Today is the day that you be set free. Be set free today. Be set free today. What God has for you is greater. What God has for you will obey you. What God has, I'm telling you, what God has for you is gonna make sense. And it's going to make sense why the last person didn't. It's going to make sense why the last company didn't. It's going to make sense why the last set of wherever you went, whatever city, whatever, why it didn't. Okay? Sometimes we got to wake up and know our value. You understand? If you don't know your value, nobody will. All right? Second part of this message. So God began to show me how Joseph and Mary, they went from end to end to end, basically from hotel to hotel to hotel looking for a place because she was about to give birth and they were rejected they were rejected because whatever reason whether they were filled up whether they just said no whatever reason was they were rejected they were sent away and 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 jesus was born in that manger in that barn in that barn could you imagine probably hay or on could you could you imagine having a baby in 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 a barn in a manger hmm. god says do not despise this place that you're in see just because this place looks to be um a hard place this place looks to be a a a a a a rejected place a a devalued place this 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 place looks to be a a a, a burden place a, a heavy place a, a a place you know it it looks it doesn't look like a place where a miracle would be birthed it doesn't look like a place where the true messiah is going to birth himself where where where, where he's going to show you who he is god jesus jesus was jesus was birthed in a manger the messiah the true and living messiah was born in a barn a miracle like jesus was born in a barn don't tell me what god can't do god said this place for you may look like that it may look like this desolate place it may look like this burden place this hard place this place of you're like god man i didn't i didn't think i was gonna get why why, why am i here in this place god what, what is this place this ain't this ain't what it's supposed to be but god says i'm about to bring the biggest miracle to you i'm about I'm the, the breakthroughs the the the, the increase the, the 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 clarity the revelation the deliverance 
the financial increase, the, the download, the manna. Listen, everything, everything that you're about to receive in March, God says, it don't look like it in this place, but I'm doing it in this place. He says, I'm doing it in this place. I even hear him saying like, everybody about to know your name. They might have rejected you. They might have depreciated you, devalued you. They, they, I mean, they might have turned you away. They might have treated you bad, thought you was nothing. But God says, I'm about to birth something in this place. I'm about to birth something in this place. This place where you're right now, this place that don't feel like it. I'm about to birth something in this place. March is a month of back to back to back to back to back to back blessings. Blessings, blessings, an overflow of blessings back to back because you've done the work. Um, processed and ready processed and ready God says you are processed and ready you are processed and ready processed and ready you are processed and ready you've done the work you've sacrificed you you've took the shame you've took the beating you've took the crucifixion you've took the rejection you took them devaluing you you took them treat you any kind of way thinking you any kind of body God says now I'm blessing you in this place receive the blessings receive these blessings you would you deserve it you deserve everything that I'm doing for you you deserve every good night rest that I'm giving you. You deserve every glow that I'm giving you. You deserve every vehicle that I'm giving you. You deserve every bit of that house that I've given you, that house I'm giving you. You deserve every bit of this download I'm giving you. You deserve every bit of this clarity. Don't you for one second allow a, a sadness to come in. Don't you allow one second what they did to you and what they said to you to come in. God says in this place, in this place right here, I am birthing you in this place. I'm telling y'all, in this place, that last, that last rejection, that last closed door, that last feeling, that last, whatever that was in that last season in February, when, Feb when March 1st came, it was a new dawn and a new, new day for you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, listen, this is a new place. When you went into March, it was a new place. I hear God keep saying prime, process, and ready. You are prime, process, and ready. You are ready. You're ready to go. You are ready to go. You are ready. God can call on you at any moment. If he call you to go preach, you can go preach. He call you to go sow, you can go sow. You are ready in this moment, child of God. My God, you are ready in this moment. God says you are ready. Thank you so much. You have a blessed day, baby. God says that you are ready in this moment, that you are ready. I know she say, what is she doing? Girl, I'm on fire for the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. So listen, I got I to gotta pull around there and park really quickly because... I can't drive like this. Woo, Jesus. God says that, that that the place that you're in right now, this is an abundant place that you're in right now. Whatever, I, if I told you right now, get in your car and drive to wherever, you can do that right now. If I told you go in the bank account right now and sow this seed, you could do that right now. If I told you to go, whatever it is I tell you to do right now, you can do it. You can do it right. That's how you know that when March came in, that your life changed. That's how you know when March came in, that your life changed. God says that you are prime, you are pumped, and you are ready. Prime processed and ready prime processed and ready he has made you ready baby you are ready baby you are ready do you hear me don't despise this place right here this place right here is right where he wanted you to be because god is about to show you everything that you are he is about to show you every god says the things that i'm releasing to you eyes have not seen ears have not heard nor has it entered into the heart of man all the things that i have prepared for those that love him the things that listen the things that god has for you your mind can't even articulate it your eyes have not saw it your ears have not heard it your it hasn't even entered into your heart child of god oh jesus when March came in, it was a new time for you. Your, your time transition, it changed. Many of you even had to relocate. God, that's why I relocated you. Listen, Jesus, listen to me. Oh, God, Jesus. You're in a new place. The blessings can find you in this place. You Listen, you, you have done the work. You've done the work. I mean, you have took it like a good champion. You have took it. You have took the pain. You took the suffering. You took the rejection. You took the lies. You took the slandering. You took the abuse. You took the molestation. You took the rape. You took the brokenness. You have took it. You took every bit of it. You took every bit of it. You took, when they, when they crucified your name, they talked about your name. When they slandered your name, when they did these things to you, you have took it. God says, you kept getting back up. You kept loving me. You didn't give up on me. You kept pressing for it. When I told you, go love my people, you love them. When I told you, go give a word, you did it. When 
I told you so, you didn't have it, you did it. Your mind, even your mind, your mind don't even think like the average mind. I'm able to take you through turmoil. I'm able to take you through trials and tribulations and you keep loving. You don't tear people down. You build them up. You kept pouring. Even from an empty cup, you were pouring. You were pouring. You were pouring. And God says, it is your time, baby. It is your time. Whatever you could think to ask me for, I'm going to do it. Jesus. Whatever you can think to ask me for, I'm going to do it. I had a moment this morning. And, and I was like, you know, Lord, I, I listen to me, y'all. I see the raw hand of God on my life. Like, like, like I've never seen before. I, I see the raw hand of God on my life. Like I never seen it before. But I understand why those last couple of about that last week or two coming into March, the enemy was fighting me so hard. He was fighting me so hard. I mean, he 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 was he was he he, he was he was speaking words to me and the and the and the and the and the, and the words that he was calling me and the things that he was trying to say to me and get me to believe and break me down. And I know why it was so hard. The press was so hard to press into March. It was so hard to because God knew I'm gonna get you in March. And I'm gonna show you overflow. I'm gonna get you in March and you're gonna see the blessings. So the enemy at that point he was reaching. He was trying to do anything that he could to stop because he knew. Wait a second. This glory is getting too big on this person. This glory. And so this morning, I'm telling y'all, he been blessing me. He blessed me in a way that I that I that I can't that I can't even that I can't even 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 imagine. I, I mean, within three days' time, it was like what 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 just happened? What was this? Let me tell y'all something. And I'm fixing her to end this because I can feel somebody getting ready to call me, and I didn't put my I didn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So I know the Holy Spirit is just holding it off. But I'm telling my, when my phone rings, my video cuts out. I'm gonna make this really quick. I sent an email out this morning. As I sent that email, I got kind of sad. And immediately, God gave me joy. He said, if you knew, if you only knew what I was doing. If you only knew what I was doing. Oh, baby. Let me tell you, this is not an hour to play around. This is, this is, this is, not, this is not a month to play around with. This ain't a month to play around with. This is a month to be holy for real. I'm talking about be holy for real this month. I don't care what you got to do. I don't care if you got to put that phone on. Do not disturb. I don't care if you got to turn that phone off and don't answer. I don't care what you got to do. Listen, be so focused. Do not let the devil trick you. Don't let him deceive you. Don't let him talk to you. Don't let him put things in your mind. No, this is a blessed month. I'm telling you, everything that belongs to you, you're going to get it this month. They're going to see you driving different. They're going to see you talking different. They're going to see you ministering different. I'm telling you, you're about to show up different. You're showing up different. God said you're showing up different because they didn't know. See, I hid your value from them. I hid your value from them. He says, I hid your value from them. And then they start treating you crazy. And I was like, okay, this shows me because you're getting ready to go to another realm. You're getting ready to go to another place. And so I had to hide that value so that I can see what was in the heart. I, and I wanted you to see what was in their heart. So that way, when I bless you and I put you up here and I do these things for you, you, you won't go back. You, you won't begin to pull back. You won't begin to pull back, but you'll push forward. I hear you. God says, you won't pull back. You'll thrust forward. God says, I'm thrusting you forward. He's thrusting you forward so much so that there won't, you won't even have a chance to pull back. There won't even, you won't even have a chance to look back, pull back. Have you ever been thrust? Like, have you ever been in like in a, um, even like on a, like on a roller coaster or something and how it pins you back and, 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 and you push back. So you can barely put your neck. You can barely, you ain't going to. You're not going to better look back. You better, God's about to thrust you so far for it. Everything that you ever prayed for is about to happen. Everything you ever longed for is about to happen. Whether it's a marriage, whether it's a child, whether it's a business, whether it's millions, whatever status, whatever, whatever it is. God says, whatever it is, whatever comes out your mouth, you ask me, I'm going to do it for you because you're my child and you endure it. And this is now the time. He says, this is now the time. Heavens have aligned with the earth. When you know it says, it says, um, uh, 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 um. Uh, when heaven comes down to earth, heaven has come down to earth now. God says, heaven has come down to earth for you. The things that you say and you decree and you speak are happening. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you right now for this word, Father God. I thank you right now, Father God, for every good thing that you are doing. Father God, I pray now in the name of Jesus, God, that you will just cover us, that you will watch over us, Lord God, that we will be good stewards of everything that you are doing, God. I curse every ungodly attachment, God, every ungodly tie, God. I sever every tie that is not your tie in the name of Jesus, oh God. I thank you that your word will be performed and done, oh God. I pray, God, now that as your children read, um, as your children hear this, Lord God, they will see that you are moving. They will feel it in their spirits. They will take this word and run with it, oh God. I curse everything that is trying to curse us at the root. I send back every word that is not your word. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I thank you right now for your many blessings, oh God. You are so good, Father. You are so good, Father. 
It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, y'all. I got to eat my food and go. My baby at the nail salon getting her nails done. I'm going to go sit over there with her. I'm going to sit in my car. I always sit in my car. I'm going to go sit in my car while um, she get her nails done, eat my food, and meditate. And But I love y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. March is your month. March is your month. I'm not talking about what I think. I know what I heard. I'm saying when I think, I'm telling y'all what I know for an absolute fact because it's happening for me. It's happening for me. And I believe it's going to happen for you too. Do not be sad. Do not be weary. Do not be, don't feel it. Because sometimes when we're being blessed and we, when we finally enter into that promised land, you know, could you imagine like when the children of Israel, their, their kids, their kids entered into the promised land, but their parents had died off. So I know they probably felt some kind of sadness, like a little bit way, like, dang, this is what mom and daddy was talking about. This is what granddaddy was talking about. Wow, this promised land, you know, he was, I'm pretty sure, you know, and they was thinking about, the, you know, their, 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 their family that, you know, didn't, what, you know, weren't able to come into that promised land in that moment you know, or at all or whatever, you know, so sometimes you can get a little sad thinking about like what was or what could have been like, you know, I want you to know this, that God is working everything out for our good. He's working everything out for our good. What the enemy thought that he was dealing with, the enemy thought that he was messing up, he did. He just made it stronger. Sometimes guys, sometimes we have to go to that place and prepare the place so we can bring the other people to the place. Sometimes we have to go and occupy that promised land in order to bring what we need to the promised land. I got family that I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving my family in Lodabar. I'm not leaving my family in Sodom and Gomorrah. My family got to come. You understand? Because they're connected to me. So it, while you're in this place of prosperity, you're in this place of blessings, you're in this promised land, be, be praying for your family, your moms, your dads, your husbands, your wives, your children, your bosses, whoever. Be praying because we don't go to the promised land and just be like, no, no, we go and we go to prepare a place for others. We go to say, hey, this is real. God is real. And if you do A, Y, and Z, you can do this. God will do this. You understand? So I pray that salvation and deliverance in the name of Jesus, that it just comes about our families, our connections, people that are connected to us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I love y'all. I'm Prophet Barham. This is Prophet Productions. And I will see y'all again in my next video. I love y'all. Be praying for me as I pray for you. Bye.